So welcome to Live Your Passion here with um, Miss Libby Frank. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yeah. You gotta <laughs> forgive me. I'm fighting some kind of something, you know, and I'm a little drugged up. And you're always like this. That's not true. How are you gonna let the people know that? What are you doing to me? Oh my god. That's with all this this place is for secrets. They're supposed to tell you something <laughs> secret. Really? No, sure. What's your secret? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. What's your secret? I have too many. Go listen to my songs and you can hear all my secrets. Okay, all right, all right. What is the one song that is like the, the deepest secret? Uh, one that no one's heard yet. <laughs> <laughs> and when is it coming out then? I don't know, honestly. Or have you written it for someone? I kind of wrote it not with anyone in mind. Okay. But I have hundreds of songs that no one's ever heard. Hundreds? Yeah, and I'm so, not sure if anybody will hear them. But how do you mean? That's not fair. I know it's not fair. I so don't really what like is that. So what is that? Either. What is it? Is it like a, a publishing agreement or um, is it with your label? You're with a label, right? Yeah, So is it that you cannot release um, the songs unless there's label approval? Is that what it is? Well, I can release the songs if I want to as an artist, but in order to do that... You'd have to be like symbol guy, like Prince. Who? Like when Prince did the symbol thing. What's that? What did he do? You know, when he, when he had a problem with his label and he came out as the artist formerly known as Prince and he had a symbol. Oh. Yeah, that's what that was all I about. I think that's maybe a good idea. Yeah, you can have your symbol like a hummingbird. Yeah. Yeah, and release all of them. She's got high Okay, sorry. Just be a surprise. <laughs> well, problem solved. You yeah. all will be hurt. Yeah. We'll so <laughs> under. Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Here we go. <laughs> knock, knock, knock on that. For real. Okay. So, Live Your Passion is a series that I, I wanted to, you know, have the opportunity to share with people what it is that that motivates some of the artists or or um, people that they see, you know, on TV or, mm -hmm. or you know, that they admire, you know, mm -hmm. doing what they do, mm -hmm. and because you can see that you love. Yeah. what you do I we do. can hear that you love what you do and and the honesty in your work mm -hmm. you know um i play i understand you yeah. know for a lot yeah. of the young female students that i have mm -hmm. especially you know when they're going through you know their their variables mm -hmm. um in terms of relationships mm -hmm. if you guys don't know this song that i'm talking about just open a new tab go on youtube type in livy frank uh i understand and play it real low while we continue the interview. Okay? Okay, do that. Okay, and, and <laughs> really get into the lyrics later, right? But I know, like, you, if you would like to share with our viewers, mm -hmm. you know, the experience of writing um, the song, What Now? Yeah. You know, that ended up being sung by Rihanna, mm -hmm. you know? Um, that, um, that really was one of a, was a very one of a kind experience. Um, how they set up some albums, like when an artist is doing an album, mm -hmm. they'll have writing camps, you know, they'll bring out writers, producers, have some studio set up, mix, mix and match the producers and the writers and see what, what comes happens. Out. Mm -hmm. um, so I ended up at one of these writing camps for Rihanna's um, unapologet unapologetic album, which was about a couple years ago. Right. And I think uh, going into it, a lot of the time when I go into the studio, I sometimes I might have an idea beforehand, and that rarely happens. Okay, okay. A lot of the time, I'm just like, well, I'm just gonna go see what comes out of today. Okay. And then I just follow along with it. As um, in you're influenced by the music that the producer? Yeah, okay. and even sometimes when there isn't music in place, I might hear some set, like a chord in my head, and I'll sit with the producer and build something basic. Oh, so you co-produce as well? Yeah, I do that as well. Nice. I don't depends. hear Jack in my head. Really? Like, yeah. What? I can tell you there's a ba -dum boom That's what I do, though. No, but you talk about chords. Yeah, I don't, I don't so say A to the flat minor G. No, but I can't even tell you like, what that is. But I'm saying I don't <laughs> hear music. You know what I mean? I don't hear, like, the, the guitar or, or the bass or the, you know? But and you, that you is a gift. You said a ba dum ba -dum. A ba as in, like, the, the vocal goes ba dum ba -dum. Oh, okay. I don't hear music. Oh. I don't, that's a gift. Didn't that's you know that? Yeah, that's that's an amazing gift, yeah. right? So it means as a songwriter, 
and you have the ability to co-produce because mm -hmm. you have the gift to hear that music in your head. Right. Whereas I know, I'm well aware, as a songwriter, I am a lyricist. Yeah. Like melodies don't even come sometimes, you know? Yeah. I'm a poet and I know it. <laughs> and, and that's about the size of it. But, you know, when, when you were in the studio recording or, or writing, yeah. What now? Like, what was the what was the process for that? It was the end of the day. Um, I had spent the last the few days before that, you know, turning out a couple songs a day, like full written songs. And how many songs a day? About two, sometimes one, but sometimes I would just say, okay, let's just try another. Oh my god! And I that's, kind of I that's discipline, though. Yeah, but I, I sometimes I feel like I should be doing more so I go into that mode but then what happens and the dangers of that is that you can go into autopilot and oh, you're okay. just writing a song like I can okay. sit down and write a song in five minutes is it gonna be a great, great song, song. Maybe, maybe, maybe maybe not, not. yeah it's true um, it's but true. I find once I kind of dive into my emotions and just dive into my being honest with myself really that's where the best songs come from Beautiful. and sometimes it takes time to just sit with yourself and mm -hmm. be like okay and no I'm not gonna go outside and you know have a have a water and you know have a little break and distract myself I'm gonna sit in this uncomfortable feeling right now and I'm gonna just write something and I'm wow. just gonna do it even though I feel like no I don't want to do it yeah I've been so, there so yeah so with that song um, I was finished for the day and her manager came in and was listening to some songs I'd done for the week and it's so funny whenever you play songs for people that you've written you might not know how you feel about a song, but when you play it for someone, you're there like, oh, oh that my part. God. Oh, no, I don't <laughs> So I'm here like playing songs to him, and I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm like, well, you know, when I wrote this I can song, change I it. I can change it. I can change it. It was just so, I was I so, make it better. I felt so humiliated oh, and embarrassed. No. Oh, my God. And because I knew myself that I was doing it on autopilot, and it wasn't really okay. coming from the heart, which okay. I'm very used to doing, writing songs from Sounds the heart. Good. Yeah. So he pretty much just like, you know, saw a little wound and went like <laughs> yeah <laughs> not intentionally trying to hurt me but yeah. he was just very honest with me yeah which is and you need that i need that a lot mm -hmm. of the time you'll have um a and r people in our people coming into the studio listening to songs you've done and be like oh my god it's the best it's it's the the best. and then you don't hear from them for a few weeks you're like hmm was it was it? Yeah. Was it no, just it the time of day? Yeah, or? It, yeah. So it can be very confusing. So mm. the honesty is really appreciated. So he the drugs were on time release. <laughs> <laughs> what? <I'm sorry. laughs> don't worry about it. That's yeah. the his, the his still talking. talking. Yeah, don't um, worry about it. Yeah, so he said something that's kind of set me off, and I didn't want to cry in front in a room of people. So I kind of contained myself and walked outside and burst out crying. Um, and that's kind of when I started writing the words to the song. What's the first, the first couple of lines? I've been ignoring this big lump in my throat. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't cried for a really long time, and that's not like me. Okay. And it just, floodgates that's, open. That's not like you? You cry a lot? I think so. I think, I don't think I necessarily am, I cry a lot, but. Well, let's just I do a survey, like in studio, yeah. like on average per week, how many times do you cry? Honestly. You don't cry? What about you, Kev? No, no. No? Nope. Well, I cry at least once a week. You know, and I really cut that down. You know crying can be addictive, right? Yeah. It's it's kind of like a You cry crutch. on, wait, hold on. What'd you say? <laughs> Every afternoon? <laughs> While watching Sesame Street. Watching Sesame Street, you cry every afternoon. My youth. Sesame. Oh, my it's youth. gone. Where is my youth? It's gone, it's gone. No, but I find, I, I found personally crying over something that you've cried about before. Oh, no. Do you it's, know what I mean? It's, it's, you it's, a it's a, addictive. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a luxury. You understand? Because then Cause you, you, you get, get to this. Because you get to be like, yeah. mm, so I'm sorry for myself. So, oh, oh, poor me. Okay. Poor, oh, poor Rather than me. like feeling that urge to, to cry and that shit going like. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm going to cry over that shit again. Forget it. Have you ever done that, though? Yeah, I, I have. I've done that I have. recently. It feels so good. I would actually be by myself in hysterics just <laughs> laughing at myself. <laughs> really? Why? Okay, fine. I'm Get out of my head. I have a little person what in my head. What did he say? No, he's saying that he, um, he has a video, like one of your videos lined up. 
Oh. Yeah, but it's auto it's automatic that he has lined oh, up. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Sure. Okay, well we can go to video if you want to. We'll be right back. We'll keep it real in the meanwhile, you know. So see you when you get back. <laughs> Enjoy automatic Livy Frank. Staying watching that music video. Um you, you had um Marissa joined me in New York to kind of be there for some nice support. Yeah, she's sure. my soul sister, so she really straight helps up, me with a lot of things. Straight up, straight up, straight up. And I was sick as a dog, and she was like making me chicken soup. Yeah, and of course, I had to take care of my baby. What you talking about? Yeah. What you talking about? But that's that's the core thing now, mm -hmm. right? What? Because okay, you need to understand. Let me set the scene. My baby is under a bridge. I don't know what degrees it was, but it was like minus something, okay? And like wind. High heel, yeah, the wind chill factor had to be like minus, minus like 10, okay? Not 30 or anything like ridiculous, but still, we're from Barbados people. Yeah. Okay, it was cold. And well, I'm thinking about it now, it's making me. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Look, you have goosebumps. I do. No, because honestly, <laughs> I witnessed this young woman like the epitome of professionalism, just do a photo shoot under a bridge in the freezing cold, right? What was the name? It was Matt. Um, Steve Madden. Steve Madden. Okay, and if you if you type in Steve Madden Living Frag, you'd probably yeah. be able to find those um, those photos. Mm -hmm. But understand, her ass was freezing. Okay, mm -hmm. right? What 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 were you thinking? I, I, I just mean, had to do it. Like, I had no choice. I can't be like, oh, I'm too cold. I want to go home. So you know what I mean? Everybody, there. Are, it wasn't only me there. There were other people, the photographer, you know. There were people there. Yeah, but they weren't in fishneck stockings and high yeah, heel shoes. Yeah, they were bundled up in their jackets. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But you know, so how, how okay, in your, in your experiences so far, in your professional career, mm -hmm. the moments when... You've, you've completed an assignment, you've completed, you know, um, you've done what you, what you set out to do and you look back and you say, oh my God, how did I find the strength to do that? I don't really do that. You don't, you need to. I don't, I, I think that's you what need I'm realizing. To. Like, I don't think that, I think that, remember the other day we were having a conversation, you were saying that I kind of look for the the like the worst case scenario, scenario or like yeah. the bad outcome, mm -hmm. which I didn't think that I was that kind of person. Yeah, but I honestly don't really look back at times, and until someone tells me, "You remember when you did this?" Yeah, I'd be like, "No, but yeah, you see, but that is that is a major it. that is a major um, disconnect from your 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 center. Yeah, that's a and major really disconnect really from your your strength. And because this whole talk is about motivation and passion and finding passion in what you do. I think that that itself, because, you know, before before I came, came to this interview, I was thinking like, well, sometimes I don't feel passionate at all. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes I just go through the motions. And then sometimes I just accidentally end up in a position where I'm like, oh my God, I love this. <laughs> I didn't feel like coming today, but I'm loving, loving it. it. Yeah. So I kind of find it by accident, but I feel like what we were just talking about, looking at the achievements that you've made and things that you've Absolutely. enjoyed. Without being hard on yourself and thinking about the things that you've done wrong, no, you need that to motivate you to show that you're making progress. Hello, not least. only making progress, but what you're made of. You proved right. what you were made of that day. I couldn't have done that shit. I would have, I look, I would have cussed <laughs> everybody. I tell him, I gone. You hear me tell you? I don't do cold. Marissa, don't do cold. Don't do cold. It's oh. I don't do cold. It's in my contract. <laughs> okay, it's in my contract. They can't take me to Canada or 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 any place cold. You know, during the winter, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I, you're laughing. Listen, people. I've never been to Canada in winter. I don't no, it's I ridiculous. To. I was I was devastated. Yeah. I was depressed. I recorded Deeper Love during uh, the months of November, right? November into December in Canada. I called my producer when I got back to Barbados and I said, we have to record the entire album all over again because there is a spirit of depression yes. on the music. Ooh. And I'm not gonna be responsible for anybody committing suicide while listening to Missing <laughs> You, okay? I'm just saying, okay? So at the end of the day, when you, when you look back 
at what you endured and you and you accomplished yeah you know mm -hmm. and you really see what it was inside of you that mm -hmm. got you through that mm -hmm. acknowledge that and honor that mm -hmm. Yep. Right? Acknowledge that and honor that. Give yourself a pat on the back and claim your victory. Yeah. You know? Because that is that is the the core. Mm -hmm. That is the core. Yeah. You know, we both know, you know, uh, we've both been through things that, you know, would have broken most people. Yep. You know? But at the end of the day, it's like we're still breathing, we're still here, and we're still beautiful. <laughs> Did you just inhale? You're like, I did, I did, I did. <sighs> Inhaling my oh. essence, yeah. <sighs> I need a bath. <laughs> don't, can't, don't breathe in too deep. <laughs> they can't smell me on TV. You can't smell me, can you? <laughs> okay, it's all good. <laughs> don't worry about it. Now, we're getting back, getting back to, you know, Livy Frank. You know, how far away is Livy Frank from, from Livy? Or, or Liv or Olivia? I am the closest that I've ever been. Nice. I don't know how close that is, but I'm the closest I've ever been. A true Gemini response. Really? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm a Gemini. You're a Gemini. <laughs> yeah. Um, all Gemini passe, Vegas, Kevin, and all the best. Yes. Gemini, all Geminis all over carrot fire. Big up, big up. No, for real. For real, because they're Geminis watching us, no? I thought you... <laughs> Hello? Okay, anybody who's a Gemini, I'm here. Sober child, are you a Gemini? Is Sober child a Gemini? He's July. He's July? He was like no. Last oh, forget no. you. Get off. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, talking about, I'm here. No, it's not, no. Anyway. Um. Okay, so yes, closest I've ever been. Mm -hmm. And how's that feel? It's, it's not what I expected. I don't know what I expected. I didn't have a whole picture painted out of what it would feel like. But I think I, I, th I, uh, I would have thought that it would have felt a bit more mm. But I do feel mm. Mm. sometimes, but then I feel Wow. And I noticed cycles that I've been through in my life where I reached the door, and I was telling someone this yesterday, this is what I want to take up surfing, because I feel like I have to just go and go for it, and just go on Nice, it. nice. So I get to this point over and over again, and I'm thinking, I guess I'm thinking in terms of my career, because my career is very intertwined with my life, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I get to this point, and it's like, <gasps> <laughs> retreat, <laughs> retreat, and then something the little naughty girl inside of me mm -hmm. goes in self sabotage mode. Oh, we wow. will bring this house down. Wow! And then it starts to bring the house down, and then I build you it have back to build up. it back up. I'm stronger each time. Okay. So yeah, I didn't think it would have been so like that. I kind of felt like it would have been like, yes, this is what it is, and I knew what I'm doing, and I know who I am. It's too funny. But it isn't. But I'm kind of aware of the. Of the yeah. Well, awareness of it. for me, I think awareness is the key. Yeah, I'm a lot. You know? I'm, I go. I go a lot less like haywire because I'm aware. Okay. Even though the same things might be happening now that have happened to me five years ago. Yeah. Little vices, little things that you know, yeah, yeah, things yeah. that bad habits or whatever. I can kind of look at it from the outside now and say, okay, I'm doing that. Yeah. And I know I'm doing that. But then I go and I do this and I feel really good about that. So when we do that, but then you know you did that. I know why you did that. And it's all right. Because then the next time morning you wake up, yeah, it's, it's a new day. A fresh page. Yeah, a new day. And I don't kind of carry it on my back as much now. Okay, good. Good for yeah. you. Because a lot of that, I think a lot of our viewers can really, you know, mm -hmm. empathize. With the, with the cycles, yeah, you know, the scary part, at least where you are, you're aware. I think the scary part would be to go through cycles and still have the mentality of, I don't know how I got here. Yeah. It's your fault. That you know, would be that very scary. Yeah, yeah, that's, no, and I know people like that. Well, we both know people like that. Mm -hmm. You know, where it's like everything is outside of their responsibility where the truth of the matter is they chose the experience yeah you know exactly we all have a choice and we all choose the experience 
you know? I think it's like, it's like it goes between taking responsibility mm -hmm. and pointing fingers. And running and hiding. Yeah. That's another option. Because you kind of get confused. It's like, yeah, but I don't want to like blame myself for everything. But I don't want to blame other people for everything. And, and then see, you start going in this rabbit hole of blame. And this no, but that's the whole thing. It's not about blame. At the end right. of the day, it is about a learning experience. Yeah. What have you learned? What yeah. have you gained? Because it's happening. Because it's or happening it's and it's happened and you've survived. What, do you do what, do you, what did you learn about it? You know, what yeah. did you learn about yourself? You know, what, what, is the, what is the most profound thing that you've learned about yourself? That the biggest things that I expect to be like boom are always whispers. And I was very quiet. Whoa. <laughs> and then Whoa. even in the whisper, then I start to feel that buzzy feeling and the warmth that I f that thought I was expecting, but it kind of comes a lot. It creeps up. It just yeah. shimmers. Shimmers, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you want to stay in the shimmer. Oh, yeah. So it means you have to be still if you're going to hear the whisper then. Yeah. Okay. And listen and listen to people because even sitting down and talking to someone I just met, you know, I feel like I have to overcompensate because I feel like I'm, I need to express myself. I need to talk. I need to be engaging. And then I talk and I talk and I talk and I talk and I'm like, oh, they're, oh, they're just listening to me right now. Oh, my gosh. I'm really yeah, impressing yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, and actually yeah. they're like, well, shut, shut, up. shut up. Oh, my God. No, and that's <laughs> the thing. No, but the thing about it is that might only be in your head, too. It could be. Yeah. No, but sometimes I think I'm right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Because you know, like what? we might be right right now, you know, like people are watching this. Like I know they're like, when are they gonna like, talk about shimmering? <laughs> <laughs> what are they gonna Wait, stop? Wait, you're about in my this? head. What'd you say? He's telling us to shut up. <laughs> oh my god! How many? There's ten more minutes. Okay, that's good. Okay, at least it's not two minutes. It's true. <laughs> That's why I thought I heard it too. I'm like, what? what? Already? I okay. know we're going to talk about the fact that it's 10 it's minutes. 10 minutes. It is okay, 10, 10 minutes. minutes. And the show's okay, going to be okay. over. What else are we going to talk about? What else are you passionate about? Um, uh, I'm very passionate about... There's so many things. Like, I could see your brain clicking. Really? Yeah. I really um, value quality time with myself. Mm -hmm. or with my family yeah um, and then also finding that I have more of a connection or more things in common or more of a beautiful you know union that you give and you take and you get yeah. from each other mm -hmm. whenever I have that with someone that mm -hmm. I've met that I didn't expect mm -hmm. it's such a great surprise nice I just love connections. I think okay. that's a big, I'm noticing that's a real big part of you. what makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a connection with myself. Yeah. Because I do like a lot of time on my own as well. Okay. Um, I'm very kind of, my mom always says I have too much time on my hands. I wrote a song about it too. <laughs> but it's like, you know, I get a chance to just kind of sit down and be all introspective <laughs> and <laughs> reflective. <laughs> And just work it out. Yeah. yeah. But even sometimes I like being alone in a crowd as well. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I love that. I like movies. You like movies? Movies. Movies. I like... What's a, what's a recent movie that you watched that was really... that really took you somewhere? Uh, this one called Labor Day with Kate Winslet. Okay. I just saw it on the plane on the way back. Okay. And it made me cry. Really? I might have been premenstrual. <laughs> But I better, I don't know, I think I'm getting this emotional all the time now. Like, I'll be watching, like, a depression commercial, you know, and finally in the end, the person is playing with their dog again, oh. and they wake up. I'm just like, oh, my <laughs> God, okay. <laughs> wow, it's so happy. Oh, dear, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I love cooking. I've always loved cooking. Oh, my God, you know, Vita, Vita, I just did an interview. Oh, yeah, you guys can look out for um, the interview that I did with Vita Chambers. I, I did that yesterday. That. I know, I know. But she was saying cooking too. I think the three of us should just, you know, do that. Yeah. I've just been noticing, that. you know, sometimes when you like put together a recipe, and let's relate this to life, you know, you yes, put, together put together the ingredients, mm -hmm. and you, you know, you taste it as you go along, and you say, a little bit too sweet, let me put a little, put a little salt in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit too sour, a little bit too this, you mm -hmm. know, you make the, the adjustments. But in the end, you really don't know how it's going to turn out, out because mm -hmm. each person has their own taste. Taste, it's true. So all you can do is just do your best. And then you know what happens recently? Like, I think that 
something from outside of ourselves is coming into the food and it's just doing something amazing that even I taste the food and usually I'm like, oh, thank you, no, it tastes good. I'm like, I'm ah. done. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I've outdone myself. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. I love when that happens because the truth of the matter is I think you're so unconscious while you're while you're cooking yeah and you're in a zone you're in a flow you're, of something you're channeling yeah and something you're channeling something like, and it's all the love that's in the food yeah you know and especially yeah. when you're cooking for your family yeah oh my yep. gosh oh well we have to do that like yeah kevin nicholas mm. can we do that yeah like I, I need to get my oven fixed though like because if we're gonna <laughs> bake something yeah so look out for that we'll get that done we can do that. I made a really good lamb, lamb curry the other day. Lamb curry, oh my god. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So, so what? We have food. like two minutes. Left. Yeah. <laughs> passionate about food, passionate about family, passionate about writing, passionate about emotionality, passionate about centeredness and connections and. And the things that are so unexpected. Yeah. That just happen. Oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You're so too. beautiful. Oh my god. Livy Frank, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure having you here with it's us. It's been wonderful. Can yeah, I come girl. back? Of course. Hello. I've been yeah. a good guest. Yes, you have been. <laughs> I'm just so excited because it's like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing either, you know? <laughs> so it's all good. It I all hope you guys, out. yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Live your passion, you know, just do you. And enjoy the rest of your week and have a safe and fantastic and productive weekend. Bye. Bye, guys. Look at this, look at this. Hey, I hope you're enjoying your stay on camera fire. Keep watching. Yup, what's going on people? What's happening?